because we've seen the launch of the Giro route three stages in Ireland. How do you feel about that? Uh, excited. Um, it was great to discover today the, the program for those uh, three hard weeks in, in between May and June. Um, it was nice to see the, the stages are in Ireland, um, get a sense of the profile where it's going to go. And um, uh, it's not going to have a huge importance or a big impact on the on the GC of the, the race. But you know, there's a lot of tricks. If you uh, all of us, you know, who are from Ireland, know those small rows, those windy uh, corners, and uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a tough one. Even though the the profile is pretty flat. How big is it for cycling in Ireland that the the second biggest stage race in the world will start there? Well. Um, I, th I think we know only when uh, when it's gone from Ireland. Uh, I think for the moment, you know, it's uh, it, it's a lot of people who, who worked really hard to get it over, and um, at the moment it's still on paper. Now, once once we get there, and uh, you know, we would have all the crowds and everything. Um, the the after Giro would be the, the important one to make the most out of it. How likely are you to ride the race? I mean, obviously it'll depend on your team and on your schedule, but presumably you'd like to be there. I like to be there. Obviously, um, I, I expressed my clearly my feeling and my demand to the team yesterday, and I'm just uh, hoping that I'll, I'll get a, a favourable re response uh, over the next few few weeks or months. But uh, the answer I got yesterday was Nico. We just finished 2013. Have your break, and we talk about it in November. So I'll see you then. The route is quite similar. I think there's nine summit finishes. It's quite similar to that of the Vuelta Spania, where you were fifth. Is the route that you think looks good for you? Summits in Volta. Right, but the point is that there's a lot of uphill finishes there as well. So are you happy with the, with the parkour? You know, uh, every year is the same when you see the Tour de France or the Vuelta. It's like, uh, what do you think of this year's route? Uh, I've done 11 Grand Tours now, and all of them are as hard one as the other. There's no such thing as an easy Grand Tour. So, um, you know, it's just uh, another year. Finally, your season is finished yesterday. What, what do you plan to do in the next few weeks? So I'm going to stay home for for a bit uh, and then eventually go back to Ireland, uh, visit the family and friends. Uh, I'll be out twice for a week, so I'm looking forward to that. I presume you're happy with the season the way it went? Yeah, I'm happy. Um, there was a lot of things to say. So I made a few mistakes. I have to work on next year. You know, I got uh, overexcited in December, January, and I was flying in February, and by March I was already kind of digging in deep. Uh, it took me a long time to get back on track, and uh, I finished in a, in a nice way. Um, I was hoping to be able to hold the form till uh, Lombardy, but uh, that was just pushing it an extra 10 days too much. And um, once I felt yesterday that I wasn't uh, great, I just dedicated myself to the team and everyone was happy with that. But still a stage win, a leader's jersey and the fifth overall in the Vuelta is certainly a nice achievement. No, for sure. It's probably the, the well, it is uh, the, the biggest achievement in my career so far. You know, uh, uh, if you take in consideration that I wore the, the four jerseys finally, uh, you know, I've never had a, a leader's jersey in the Grand Tour and uh, eventually I end up wearing all four of them and especially the, the red one, which is the, the one I was really, really dreaming of. And uh, also having uh, that, that stage win was, was so important for me. Um, I was missing that uh, Grand Tour performance and then uh, finally breaking in top five. You know, last time around I was six, but it wasn't top five. And this time just a little, uh, uh, they're only numbers, but um, you know, it's just that, uh, that little extra thing that, uh, that makes me even more happy.